Maths. If you're into Eurorack, it's hard to avoid it. What's the most popular and best-selling Eurorack module? Maths. If you're building a new rack and ask for advice on utilities, what do people say? Maths. Some jackass starts up a YouTube channel and all of his videos are about maths. A guy goes to the doctor. He says, doctor, my left arm is tingling and I have a tight pain in my chest. Doctor says, take two maths and call me in the morning. You just can't get around it. It's the most popular, most used, most talked about module in your rack. But it's possible that for one reason or another, you don't want a maths. Maybe you don't have the space for it. Maybe you just don't want one because everybody else has one. The nice thing about modular systems is it can be whatever you want it to be for whatever reasons you have. So in this video, we'll talk about what the components are of maths and what you would need in order to duplicate it using other modules, as well as an overview of some of the modules that exist today that are either comparable or could be combined to recreate the functionality of maths in your own system. Let's start by taking a look at the individual components of maths so you can see what you would need to duplicate its functionality with other modules. The list may be shorter than you think. The first is a pair of slew limiters. So a slew limiter integrates or slows down the voltage coming into it. In the case of maths, its ability to be an envelope generator comes from the slew limiter. The envelopes that are being generated are actually the slowed control gate inputs that you put into it. So two slew limiters make up channels one and four, probably the most used channels. Voltage control over the rise or attack parameter, as well as the fall or release parameter are necessary. And a convenience would be a both input, which allows you to modify both with one control voltage. Next is a self cycle mode. That is to say it will become a looping envelope generator or LFO type signal. And what's really great is on maths, it's under voltage control. So there's a cycle input near the bottom, which means if a gate is put in to that cycle input, the unit will go into cycle mode. And when the gate goes low, it will stop cycling. Next is a variable response for the curve. That is to say, it will have an exponential logarithmic or linear curve to it. And then very importantly are the end of rise or end of cycle gate outputs, which means on channel one, when the rise portion of the voltage has completed and the signal starts to descend, it will put out a gate. And on channel four, when the cycle is done, it will put out another gate. These are very important for some of the classic math patches. Next, you want a four channel DC mixer. It's very important that it's DC coupled because in addition to mixing audio, we also want it to use it to combine control voltage. Next are four attenuverters. Uh, which are on the input for every channel on the maths, an analog OR circuit, and an inverter. So that's it. That is all that is in maths. It doesn't seem like a very long list, and you might be wondering, well, then what's the fuss? And uh, maths is a case of the gestalt kind of principle, which means uh, it really is greater than the sum of its parts. The real magic in maths isn't in the electronics. It's in the workflow, the layout, the design, and the well thought out feature set that Make Noise put together uh, that makes such an iconic module. All of these functions can be done by other modules, which we'll look at in a moment, but none of them can do them in the same way and in the same combination that Maths does. And to answer the question that I see a lot, uh, can I do the same thing as Maths for cheaper and in a smaller package that is less width or less HP? Uh, in my opinion, no, you can't. Uh, for the amount of functionality and to get the exact same feature set, I don't think you can do it um, any cheaper or smaller than maths. But if you're interested in what you could do differently, let's take a look. Okay, so the first disclaimer I'll make up front is that I do not have an encyclopedic knowledge about every Euro rack module that exists, uh, nor do I really care to. Uh, my soapbox is out for repairs at the moment, but uh, I often feel that uh, one of the detriments of the format is the constant barrage of new modules that uh, I can't keep up with, but I'm sure some people can. Having said that, I think this is a good starting list. If you have others that you want to have mentioned, um, throw those down in the comments so people that come to this after January of 2019 will see some other options in addition to what I've put out here. So on the first row, we have a bunch of the full math competitors. 
Um, keep in mind when you're looking at these that many of them focus on channels one and four of the maths, or that is to say they have similar functionality to channels one and four, but oftentimes what is missing and is a critical component is channels two and three, the center section with the attenuverters, as well as the mixing bus down here. A lot of the maths patches that are great for utility require these, which may not be available on some of these other units. So first up, obviously, is the Surge Dual Universal Slope Generator. This is sort of the granddaddy, uh, one of the main influences for maths. Surge existed well before Eurorack, and a lot of the modules are being ported to the Eurorack format by random source. The Dual Universal Slope Generator is a follow-up to the um, positive and negative slew generators that Surge had before this. And like I mentioned before, features the functionality of channels 1 and 4. So you've got voltage control, a cycle mode, exponential uh, and linear responses. Interestingly enough, on you can have different responses on rise and fall which is something you can't do on maths, and also a one volt per octave input because uh, this unit should track pitch a little bit better than maths. Maths can be used as an audio oscillator, but tends not to track very well as far as pitch outside of maybe one octave at best. So the DUSG or DUSG is a worthy alternative to maths as far as the slew limiting capabilities. Also another well-known module is the Bifaco, Bifaco? Bifaco, the Rampage, which has, again, channels one and four of maths type of functionality with its slew limiter inputs, uh, has rise and fall, voltage control over all of them, different response types as far as shapes, uh, a very cool center section that has max min and a couple other mixing options and in general uh, does some really cool things. It's also available as a DIY kit, I believe, and uh, is a very popular alternative to maths. But lacking on terms of the center section with the um, inputs. Uh, the last one on the top row here is the double Andor, which is by the Harvestmen. I know the least about this, uh, but when doing research for it, it seems to tick a lot of the boxes that maths does and they make some pretty cool modules. So this is probably another one to look at if you are looking for a lot of the maths functionality without actually using maths, um, at least for the channels one and four with the slew limiters. On the next row, we've got a couple modules which individually make up channels one or four on the maths. Uh, one reason you might not want a maths is if you do not have 20 HP of contiguous space and you wanted to break it up into smaller chunks. Uh, these are some of the building blocks for channels one and four on that front. So first obviously is the function by make noise, which is not half of a maths, but is one of the channels. Uh, it has a couple different features, which makes it neat. I've owned one of these alongside my maths before going double maths. Uh, one is that instead of voltage controlled cycle input, you have a voltage controlled hang. Uh, it's still looking for a gate input, and when the gate goes high, basically whatever value the circuit is at will be frozen, uh, effectively allowing you to use this as a sample and hold. It also features a both positive and negative output, as well as uh, end of rise and end of cycle outputs. Recall that maths has end of rise on channel 1, or it has end of cycle on channel 4, but it doesn't have both on each. So make noise function, only 8 HP, um, and a really nice module for that. Continuing the theme of going back in time, the Dopefer A171-2 voltage-controlled SLU processor uh, is the circuit licensed by Surge um, and through CGS by Ken Stone. Uh, this is one half of the dual universal slope generator, so a universal slope generator, or USG. One neat thing is it has variable response curves for rise and fall, like some of the other modules. Um, it has exponential and linear. Uh, cycle mode and a cycle output, uh, a very neat module. I've often considered just saying nuts to everything and just building up a straight dope for rack, in which case there would be a whole bunch of these because this is a really cool module. Next is the WMD slash Steady State Fates Mini Slew, 
which is very similar to the make noise function. It has the same width. It's interesting because they make this at 8 HP, which is a perfect replacement for a function, and their uh, ultra random is the same width as the um, Woggle Bug, which makes me wonder if they're trying to make uh, direct replacements for those for people that might want something different. But um, end of cycle, end of rise, variable responses. Um, again, checks all the boxes for what you would expect from channel one or four of maths uh, in only 8 HP. Uh, kind of an honorable mention uh, is the ALM Busy Circuits Pip Slope. Uh, if you only have 4 HP and you want uh, this style of um, attack release or attack sustain release generators, um, this has uh, voltage control over attack, decay, looping mode, different responses, and is a very neat module. As far as duplicating the center section, there's all sorts of utility modules you can look at for this. Um, here's some buildups I put in for a uh, potential maths replacement. Uh, this one on the left uh, cost way more than maths. Uh, again, maths is 20 HP, so this is 8, 16, 20, uh, call it 26 uh, HP wide uh, with two functions. Uh, in the middle for utility, I put a Mutable Instruments Kinks, which is a terrific module. Um, it has an inverter, half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, min and max sections for the input. And then as a bonus, you get a sample and hold with a noise source. Uh, and then also a Happy Nerding uh, 3X MIA, or however you're supposed to say that. It's not a four channel mixer, but um, it does all of the cool things like um, having attenuverters, offsets, it's a mixer. Um, so it's very useful utility. So if you put these all together and you can spread them out as you like, you can get a lot of the same functionality of maths um, in different packaging. Going back to the all dope for setup, we've got two of the A171-2 uh, for channels one and four. A pretty neat module in the 138 mixer series, which is the A138C polarizing mixer, uh, which is a tenuverters uh, on all of the inputs that go down to the output. And input one, I believe, uh, yes, just input one uh, can provide DC offset, plus or minus 5 volts, but the rest do not. Um, and then finally, another module which would be really useful for building up maths um, as far as the center section is the uh, Mutable Instruments Blinds um, set of attenuverters, all of which can do offsets. You can do sort of this daisy chain mixing, which is great. I had a Veils, and I really liked it, which is similar. Um, but if you put two modules in here, as soon as you take the output from here, this is a submix, and the others go on their own merry way. Can also be used as a VCA um, ring modulator, super useful utility module. So if you were to combine something like the blinds with these center modules here or these center modules here, and you take those and combine them with one of these modules up here, you've got most, if not all, of the functionality in maths. Uh, it's going to be slightly different. There's going to be a lot more patch cables and patching because, again, one of the nice things of maths is how compact it is and how everything fits together. But um, I'll leave this rack up here. Um, it's under my username uh, if you want to look at it. But you can take a look at this. And like I said, if there are other modules you think are worthy additions, um, feel free to add them in the comments. And I'll just add to this over time. And if anybody wants to look up some other modules that might be useful, I'll have a link to not maths uh, in the description below. A guy goes to the doctor and the doctor says, you have 24 hours to live. The guy says, what? I want a second opinion. The doctor says, you're ugly too. A guy goes to the doctor and says, doc, it hurts when I do this. The doctor says, well, don't do that. A guy goes to the doctor for his physical and the doctor says, well, it looks like you're going to have to stop masturbating. And the guy says, what? Why? And the doctor says, because I'm trying to give you a physical.